guys welcome welcome good morning good afternoon good evening good night wherever time zone you're watching from guys please look in the description you will see a link to my youtube channel please like subscribe and share yesterday i talked about um the minimum wage in my videos this morning when i was going through the comments i saw a lot of comments and i appreciate the feedback however i start to have some sympathy on those who are talking about uh what minimum wage can do but guys i came across this comment and it puzzled me you understand what i mean and then my sympathy towards those who are complaining shift to those who who are on the back of field working the fifteen thousand dollars you understand what i mean and i want to salute those who are on the battlefield working the fifteen thousand dollars and i just want to say to those persons you understand what i mean a uh, tough situation don't last you understand what i mean tough people do you understand what i mean and it's better to have something coming in than nothing whatsoever at all you understand what i mean what people don't realize you see government cannot just get up and raise minimum wage to a point where businesses cannot afford it you understand what i mean the government cannot do that and it seems to me that these people need the government to put minimum wage to a point where businesses have to be closed down you understand what i mean it cannot work like that you understand what i mean and we are some poor thinkers in our society. You understand what I mean? We have some people who only think within the box. You understand what I mean? And not out of the box. You understand what I mean? And we must be careful before we comment on anything. You understand? We must be careful and we must view the situation or, 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 or what the person is saying on a broader scale before we make any comment you understand what i mean because if the government should take upon themselves tomorrow morning and 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 put minimum wage at twenty five thousand dollars how many of these businesses can pay that twenty five thousand dollars you understand what i mean and even if these com these businesses can pay the twenty-five thousand dollars. How many persons, those businesses, can pay that twenty-five thousand dollars? You understand what I mean? You but and how many persons? You understand? These businesses going to lay off to pay um this twenty-five thousand dollars. You understand what I mean? And a matter of fact, some of these businesses would even pack up their bags and leave this country and go where they're welcome you understand what i mean so people have to be careful what they're asking for you understand what i mean i know the white british citizen you understand what i mean going to come with all manner of evil you understand what i mean he will he's going to come with all manner of evil but let me tell you something even up till today day that white British citizen don't come with a plan for this country. All he live on, every platform he go on, only name in the this man mouth is Andrew Holness. Is Andrew Holness and time come. Time come for what? Time come for you to pack your bags and go back to England. Because you have ready, you already come here. You understand what I mean? And you, you help to create FinSAC. You understand? And you get rich off the poor people. You understand what I mean? Your comrade say that the greatest chance of wealth from the poor to the rich was in Finsack. You, Mark Golding, and Peter Muntin take away the people money, the poor people money through Finsack. So people don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. 
the greatest transfer of wealth. Go in their account. So people, when we talk, we must be careful. And I want to say to those persons who are complaining about the minimum wage. You understand? You don't have to work minimum wage. No, you don't. And let me tell you how you don't have to work minimum wage. And let me tell you how good this administration uh, led by the most honorable Dr. Andrew Michael Holness love his people care for his people and working for the for the for, for his people he moved guarantor from student loan you understand so for those who are complaining you can go to borrow money at the student loan bureau and send yourself back to university and college so you don't have to earn minimum wage not only that, but he have made it possible that you can go to heart trust and, and earn a skill free of cost. A matter of fact, he's paying you $50,000 after you graduate, which are level four service to get. To earn a skill. And for those who benefit from path. And word of the states. He's giving $75,000. So, the, the, so this administration. Led by the most honorable. Dr. Andrew Michael Holness. Is paying you. To earn a skill. So you don't have to depend. On the minimum wage. So for those who are complaining in the comment and in the comment section talking about what $15,000 can do. There is a pathway to road before you. Pick your choice. Andrew, Dr. Holness is the only prime minister of Jamaica that really put People first. Is the only prime minister who really put the people of Jamaica first. This man's a country over everything. Dr. Holden said country over everything. That is the reason why. You can see the type of development that is taking place in this country. Because the, the most honorable Andrew, Dr. Andrew Michael Holness have put the country first in real time. And I just want to salute those who are working, those who are on the battlefield working that fifteen thousand dollars and i want to encourage those who can pay more than the fifteen thousand dollars because some people can really pay more than the fifteen thousand dollars i want to urge those who can pay more than the fifteen thousand dollars to do so because everywhere every country time is hard time is difficult food is expensive you understand? And we want to urge those who can pay more than the $15,000 to do so. Please, we are asking. We are begging. Hear our plea. And again, for those who are complaining, there is a pathway for you to earn above minimum wage go back to school it's more easier than then because this government have made it easier for you to go to school to earn an education that you don't have to earn minimum wage people vote Andrew 